Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Foreign Cards Friday, my favorite series. I know it's a lot of your guys' favorite series as well, and uh, we actually kind of have a little bit of a pack of palooza again, you know? Um, like we did last week with the Foreign Cards Friday, we, we opened a ton of packs, and uh, I think we, we've got uh, quite a bit more here to do again today. Um, I do apologize. I am very congested. I have a, a head cold. Um, so I definitely have that sound, I know. Um, hopefully it's going to go away in a couple days. But uh, I do have that pre-release tournament tomorrow for Sword and Shield um, that I am planning on going to. Um, I've already paid my entry, so I just got to go and participate in the tournament. And um, I, I tried asking the guys there if they would be okay with me uh, recording my pack opening at least and then maybe recording some of the battles. Um, I haven't gotten word back yet, so I will definitely keep you guys up to date on that. But uh, at least expect some pack openings from the brand new Sword and Shield set tomorrow afternoon. Um, we'll be uh, we'll be going through that and hitting them hard. Um, speaking of Sword and Shield, that's part of the pack Palooza day. If you look down here, we're gonna finish off the boxes that we have. We've got ten packs of each left, and uh, we're gonna finish off those boxes today. And hopefully make some really good uh, ground on our binders because we still have a lot to fill in on the binders. Um, I think undoubtedly we're going to have to get more boxes to complete the set or buy or trade for the single cars that we need or whatever. But um, that is the plan still. And then, of course, we can't, can't go without a little bit of vintage magic here. So we've got two Neo uh, Discoveries. I think the discoveries um and then base set and again base set is not guaranteed to be hollow it's a 50 50 and we've gotten i think i got five of these packs and four of them have all had hollows in them i'm really hoping we make it five for five and and go 100 on those but we'll find out um just want to say before we really get into it thank you everybody um as of the recording right now we are still at uh, 495 subscribers. We are five away from 500, but I never thought that I would even make it this far. So I just want to say thank you so very much to everybody who supports and uh, you, for you guys that just keep coming back and watching all my content. I, I greatly appreciate it. And I just want to say thank you. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, um, welcome. <laughs> I want to know what brought you here. If, if you guys are new to the channel, comment down below what, um, how you heard of me, like how, who brought you here or how did you see my name i just i'm curious to see where everybody's coming from you know so if you are new comment down below um if you don't want to comment that that's fine if you just want to comment whatever go for it i try to respond to everybody's comments anyway so um you can comment whatever you want but i'm just curious as to where everybody's coming from so um again if you are new Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for joining the Minuteman Army. Please smash that like button if you do enjoy the video and uh, well, share the video with all your friends so we can we can get more people in the Minuteman Army. But without further ado, let's dive right on into the pack opening because that is what's most exciting here. And uh, I thought this was an appropriate time to finish off the Sword and Shield Japanese boxes as we are getting right into the English set tomorrow. Uh, I know we're not getting the booster box and all that yet tomorrow, but we're going to dive into those pre-releases. And balloon. Okay, red balloon. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Come on. Give us some goodness. I want that secret rare Marnie rainbow rare got an egg it's i don't know if i have that one actually we've got the uh cute font i think uh muna snom reboot i think his name's reboot put him over here and we'll go into another sword and shield or a sword pack i'm still so used to saying sword and shield not just sword or shield it's going to take some getting used to, and it's going to be ruined as soon as the English set, you know, really does release because it's both of them together. All right, we got a, a potion. Um, we've got a rookity. We've got clavopus. We've got Savile, and we got Intellion. That is one that we needed. Thank you. Please come again. We need more. I actually really love Intellion. Um, really happy we pulled this one, and I will take as many of these as they want to throw my way 
So, oh yes. All right, we've got an Orbeetle, Wooloo, oops, should probably put camera, or, uh, cards on the camera, Golding, Mawhile, and we got Snorlax V card, baby. Woo! Still sounds weird to say, I know, but uh, that is a pretty good pull. I don't think we had this one yet, so some of these uh, sleeves are a little beat up, but, you know, reusing them. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Really happy about that pull. That's what I'm talking about. We need to keep pulling more stuff like that. I don't think I pulled any VMAX cards yet, though, so uh, fingers crossed we can get that VMAX. All right, another sword. Let's do it. Scent of Scorch. Um, Ghastly. Mincino. Uh, Krabby. And we got Professor Magnolia Holographic. I think maybe we've gotten this one already. Maybe not. I can't remember. But it's a cool card all the same. So I'm glad. I mean, we've, we've we're at least pulling cards we haven't gotten yet. Um, that is something I'm happy about. All right. So we got the Rainbow Energy. We got the Chin Chow uh, Quillfish. Sola Cobra and Sandaconda. All right, what a sequence. Let's see what we got in this one. So how's your, how's you guys this week going? Um, anybody else going to the pre-release tournaments? Comment down below. Uh, see all those people who are going to the pre-release tournaments because I want to follow up with you uh, and see who one or who did you know how well you did last so i've only been to one pre-release tournament ever and it was for cosmic eclipse um and i went one and two yes that bad um i honestly got pretty lucky winning my first match i'm not gonna lie i uh in my building battle kit in one of the packs i had the blastoise and pippa tag team and that is truly what gave me a swift victory uh in that first match but um I was not so lucky in the other matches. Golden, Zigzagoon, and Torkoal. Oh, that's a full heart, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. It's got, like, this weird circular s pattern made out of, like, little tiny squares. It's really weird. But uh, that is a solid pull right there. Very happy about that. All right. So we've gotten two... V cards from Shield and uh, two Hollows from Sword. So I think uh, I think Shield's definitely winning this battle so far. Kind of like uh, if you guys watch Jordan Fringe, he does the Battle of the Boxes. Well, right now I think uh, Shield's winning that box battle. All right, there we go, Corviknight baby, Mencino, um, Meowth, Salazalendita. I don't know what that is. Salazzle or Salandit. I always get them confused. But we got Rillaboom, Holographic. That is one I know we did not have already. So, Inteleon and Rillaboom. We just need Cinder Ace now. Hopefully, we can pull it. It'll be really good. It's one of the ones we are missing. So, hopefully, we can pull it here. We got Galarian Rapidash. We've got Ponyard. We've got um, Choodle. I don't even know what this thing is. And we got that egg again. Sword. I think we're in the bottom half of these packs now. It feels like we've been opening these for, you know, centuries at this point. But this is actually a really good set. I'm actually really glad I bought both these boxes. Um, they really are cool. Uh, Sudowoodo. Oh, you got one peeking behind the tree over there. I think I just now noticed that. Krogunk. Um, yes. And Haunter. I think we have the whole ghastly line already, so we don't need any more of those. But pulling another Gengar would be cool, because that Gengar art was pretty cool. Ooh, we got something in this one, too. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what it is. This shield box is just on fire as we get 
a whatever this thing is v card baby i really have no idea what this thing is called but we got a third v card from the shield box lord of mercy keep it coming though that's what i like to see let's get into this so i don't know if you guys noticed hong kong got their english sets of sword and shield like two three weeks early and people are already ripping through tons of booster boxes of them and the elite trainer boxes and all that good stuff as we get a lapras b max card baby that is what we're talking about sword coming in clutch with our very first v max oh and it's that beautiful lapras art i love this card oh man Japanese people, you, you guys just know how to make these cards correctly. I wish the English sets would follow in your stead, but it's like perfectly centered. It oh, it's just beautiful. There is this is beautiful. I love it. All right, come on. Let's uh, let's get something else good in here. Let's get a V Max of our own shield. I don't think um, Sword is caught up yet to the train that. Shield has been running here, but uh, they definitely made some good headway with that pack. And Lantern. Definitely not going to pull away pulls like that. All right. See, I don't know if, if the sword box here, if one of these packs has another VMAX or V card, I mean, I don't think you can argue with that too much. Stunfisk, Yamper, whatever his name is, and the bike. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me something good. I keep bumping my camera up there. It keeps wobbling, I see. We got Drapion. We've got Malt Isle. We've got Rhyhorn. We'll Scatterbug, I think. And Oranguru. That is one we did not have, I don't think, either. So that's another nice holographic card we needed that we just got. So, I am happy about that. All right. Two more packs each before we get into the vintage stuff. Which I know, I think, it, the, the part that everybody is really wanting to see at this point. Although, I don't think anybody could say they're disappointed with the polls we've gotten. I mean, Lord. we got gotten some pretty sweet polls. Ghastly and the Fishing Rod. All right. Second to last pack for Shield. Here we go. One to the front. And we got Quick Ball. We got Snom. Wulu. Hitmonchan. And Dreadnaw. Last pack for Sword. Can we get some last pack magic for both of these boxes here? Final packs. One card to the front. Here we go. Potion. Kingler. Roselia. Um, the Pharaoh Seed and Toxicroak Holographic. That's not a bad pull. I don't think we had this one. I might be wrong, but I don't think we did. Gotta get one of my sleeves out. Man, we pulled some really. These last few booster packs for both boxes have just been phenomenal. I'd say we got one or two hits from each box in the previous openings, but man, we just got like hit after hit after hit. All right, we got Rhydon, Mana, Golding, um, Bisharp, and Cinder Ace. We finally pulled it. It was in the box. I knew it. I knew we had to have it in the box, and we finally got it. Our boy Cinder Ace. So we got. We literally got all three holographic final evolution starters in these packs from this opening. Wow, that was that was fire. That was straight up fire. Oh man. All right, so let's let's review here. So in the sword box, look at all the hits we got. We got holographic Toxicroak, holographic Rillaboom, holographic um, Professor Magnolia, holographic Intellion, and VMAX Lapras. Whoa. And in this box, we got holographic Cinderace, holographic Oranguru, V card of whatever this Pokemon is. V card of Torkoal. That's a full art as well. 
and VMAX of Snorlax. Just unbelievable polls. Absolutely unbelievable polls. So, comment question of the day for you guys is, which box do you think won this battle for today? Sword or shield? Let me know down in the comments below, and let's get into the feast. The main attraction here. I've been holding on to these for a little while. I've been wanting to do these uh, every week, every Friday. It's, I, I see them and I go, is it time to crack these open? And then I go, let's let's give something else, you know, a chance to shine. But uh, it is definitely time to crack these bad boys open. I can't even open this thing. All right, hold on. There we go. I don't have scissors in here or else I would just, you know, snip the top or something, but. Sorry, Pichu, just cut you in half down there. I'm trying not to ruin the pack. I at least want the front to be, to look good, you know? So, whoops, I just showed the top card, didn't I? Well, let's, uh, let's act like that's a surprise. All right, we got a Don fan here. That's actually a really nice card. We got Whooper. Whoop, there it is. Grainbull. Oh, man, he looks fierce. Like, he's coming at you. Lightning fast. We got Giraffe Rig, and I love the love the artwork on that one. Just, it looks so, so cool. We got Chen Chow. It looks like his uh, little buddy in the background there. We got a Skip Loom. We got that uh, artistic-looking Lediba. Very cool. We got the Centret up on his tail. He's trying to see that danger coming. We got a beautiful Magmar card. I love that artwork, actually. And we got Bell Awesome Baby. Oh, and there is a swirl right down here. See if we, you can kind of see, yeah, right there. Right there. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful swirl. That is a very nice Bell Awesome card, actually. Uh, I remember pulling this in English once, and uh, I don't know, that's just, probably one of my favorite cards from the set it's just a very nice card a very well made artwork is beautiful let's get into the base set hope that we can pull that charizard um again i've never pulled a charizard from a base set pack english japanese foreign it doesn't matter i've never pulled one and as you guys saw in the last video if you didn't see last video i did it's a you know kind of a nail day one um, definitely go check it out, but spoiler alert, I got a base set Charizard. So I think it's one to the back, right? I think that's the, the trick here. All right, well, fingers crossed we can get a holographic, and then double fingers crossed, I think I think that's how that works, right? Um, that we get that Charizard pull. So here we go, Poliwag, Ponyta, Dugong, Vulpix. We got, uh, was it Energy Retrieval or something? Um, we've got a Growlithe. I love that artwork for that Growlithe, too. We've got Nidoran Mail. We've got Machop. Ooh, Handy 505. It's the Pokédex. And here we go. I think, I think this is it. Ooh, so we got a Holographic. It's a Ninetale, so it's not the, not the Charizard, but it is a Holographic. I'm not gonna lie, I saw the little fire border or whatever, and I thought, oh, this is it, but that's not a bad pull. Holographic Ninetales, ladies and gentlemen, from base set, vintage cards. That is phenomenal. So we'll put him up here too, or her, I don't know what it is. And uh, let's get into our final pack, which is another Neo whatever. And uh, let's see if we can get that Lugia. I, pulled, I think I pulled the Lugia once um, in the English when I was a kid. But that was a long time ago and that was it. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to do this how uh, Rusty from TCA Gaming does. We're going we're gonna to sleeve it up. We're going to put it right down here and we're just going to go through these cards as is. And uh, yeah, we'll flip it and we'll do the reveal at the very, very end. So here we have a Murkrow, and it is a rare. You know what? 
That Dawn fan was a rare too. I forgot that they double up on rares in these uh, sets. So you get a non-holo rare and then you get a, a, a holo rare. So we got the Murkrow. Ooh, I love that Onyx artwork. It's honestly one of my favorites as a kid and still one of my favorites now. You got the Noctowl with a couple other Noctowl buddies up here. Eyes glowing. You got that derpy Slowpoke. I honestly think they did a disservice to Slowpoke there. Whoop, there it is. We got a Zatu, Zatu, however you pronounce it. We got Totodile. There we go. That was my favorite starter from that set. We got Swine Up. We got the Berry. I don't know what kind of berry that is. But the final card for today and the uh, holographic for this booster pack is Azumarill. That is actually a pretty good card to get. Um, I believe we've gotten this before. Ooh, there is a nice swirl up here between the ears. You guys see that? Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, that is that is a nice pull. So as you can see, we got the Azumarill, the Nine Tails, and the Bell Awesome All Holographics Vintage Japanese card. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, that concludes this episode. We are done. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it, please consider smashing that uh, thumbs up button in great haste. Just. You can just hit this thumbs up button. It's fine. It's fine. Um, again, comment down below if you are new. Comment who brought you to my channel or how you heard my channel because I'm, I'm genuinely interested in how you guys uh, came to find me. I, I really want to know. And um, also comment down below. Everybody can comment down below what box you thought won, the sword box or the shield box. Let me know. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't. Share with all your friends. Let's get to 500. I want to um, hopefully by tomorrow when we do the pre release, we are at 500 or pushing past 500. So uh, thank you guys for everything. Your support is unbelievable. Again, you guys are the only reason that I'm here and the only reason I keep going on. So I do truly appreciate it and I want to say thank you to everybody. You guys have a good night and we will see you tomorrow.